Hello, I'm Dr Jonathan Oates, archivist for the London Borough of Ealing. Victorian Ealing changed immensely. This was especially true of the decade towards the end of the 19th century. And with the aid of these two maps, one dating from 1865 and the other dating from 1896, I will briefly show a few of the major changes which took place during those three important decades in the history of Ealing's development. Well, first of all, we have the Uxbridge Road here. Now, the Uxbridge Road is, of course, a major road in Ealing and has been for many centuries. However, if you examine the, the road in 1865, you will notice that there's now large open spaces on both the north side and on the south side. And if you compare it to the 1896 map, we can see it's almost all completely built up with houses, mainly detached or semi-detached, with large gardens behind them. Another major change along the Uxbridge Road is the fact that in the 1865 map, we have an open space here. Now, in 1896, as you can see, we have the council officers, better known as the town hall, which was opened in 1888 and included, of course, our Victoria Hall and Ealing Library. Talking about Ealing Library, we can see on these maps a house called Ashton House, which is roughly where the north part of Bond Street is now. That was where Ealing Library first opened in 1883 as Ealing Free Library before moving to the town hall in 1888. If we, if we look further north of the railway line, we will see that in the 1865 map, there's open fields all the way north of the railway line, um, all across Haven Green and beyond. Now, if we look in the next map, we, we will see lots of houses have been built along Gordon Road and leading off from Gordon Road, we have um, Longfield Road, Longfield Walk, um, Friars Road and many others. If we now look to the north, the very north of this map, maps along Castle Bar Road, we'll see in 1865 there are a number of houses already on the road but not particularly many. Compare it to the 1896 map, where we have lots more houses on both sides of Castle Bar Road. We also have, um, in contrast to the open fields of the 1860s, in the north um, east part of the map, we have lots of other roads, including, including Eaton Rise, Montpelier Road, Woodville Road, Mount Park Road, and many others. There's also a number of churches have, have been built in the interim. We have St Andrew's Church, Presbyterian Church, um, and there is also just off North, just off Haven Green, we have the Haven Green Baptist Church. If we look further to the south, onto the south east of these maps, we can see that the part of Ealing which was the small terraced housing just behind what is now Ealing Broadway. It's already been built up slightly um, on the western side by 1865, very small houses in, in small streets, a great contrast to Castle Bar Road and even the Uxbridge Road. By 1896, however, the um, eastern part of that district has been has spread to the west so we have houses along the oxford road um windsor road and other roads so the whole area is being more built up just to the south of that part of the map we have we have we have a new church and a new school um saint saviour's church and the school and of course the school is is, is still there um there are some aspects of these maps which haven't changed that much, um, even by today's standards. In 1865, we have the manor house here, which is, is now called Pitsanger Manor. If we look at the next map, 1896, we, we still see we have a manor house there. Now, to the south of both 
of both maps, we have a house called the Hall. Now, that is no longer there now. It's basically where Ealing Tertiary College is, which, which began life as Ealing Grammar School in 1913. If you look at these maps more closely, you will see lots more changes that have taken place between 1865 and 1897. The main reason for these changes was that the population of, of Ealing grew dramatically. In 1865, it's possible to portray Ealing as still a large village. But, but by 1896, Ealing had a population of nearly 30,000 people. It was becoming quite an important town um, in this part of Middlesex. Thank you for listening to this, watching it. Remember to hit the like button and to subscribe to Ealing Library's YouTube channel. Thank you.